Uh, police in uh, the Eastern Cape have uh, started implementing Operation Zikona as uh, part of the efforts to tackle crimes against women and children. This initiative of uh, the Provincial Police Commissioner, Lieutenant General Nomtete Limene, has uh, been making inroads with more than uh, 200 cases going to court. GBV hotspots include the OR Tambo District Municipality and two metros, Nelson Mandela Bay and Buffalo City. Our SABC News uh, reporter Kim Daniels has more on the story. With the rise of gender-based violence in the Eastern Cape, the police have been working hard with communities as well as the Department of Transport and Safety to curb and eventually stop um, this pandemic that has been going on. Operations such as Operation Zikona have, have been launched and joined with, joined with me now rather is the police commissioner for the Eastern Cape. And as I understand, ma'am, this is your baby. This was your initiative. Just tell us about this operation. Thank you. The operation is Operation Sukona. It is a tool that I uh, that have initiated, or we rather, as the management of the Eastern Cape, to to work through all different crimes that are reported within the province. We are saying to the communities of the Eastern Cape who are there for you, we are here as the police. The rollout started in in Dusikisiki, and it was launched on the 8th of um, April. Um, we are uh, using the five pillar approach. We are going to gather intelligence and deploy where possible and uh, do crime detection and also involve communication. Part of Sikona is the awareness campaigns and part of Sikona is focusing on all uh, um, gender-based violence cases and also of course the murder cases and the rape cases in fact all contact crimes within the province so it is a tool that we as a police we're using utilizing to flood areas where there's a lot of crime that has been reported uh, hot spots and address the crimes situation we're looking at first stabilizing the areas like we did elusikisik and also normalize later on so it is a tool that we use to focus on all the hotspots. If I can dwell more on the hotspots of the province, uh, we have identified the hotspots as uh, the OR Tambo district. The second part is the BCM, Buffalo City Municipality District, and the third area is the Nelson Mandela Bay District. Those are the areas that we are going to focus on. Commissioner, uh, you've now mentioned hotspots. Um, there are high-profile cases currently going on, like the Namfra case from Mdata. Um, what we can take from that case is, is that the detectives or the investigators on the case, they don't have enough evidence to convict um, her alleged killer and abuser. What is your message to women who are in situations like this? What are the boxes that they need to tick to ensure that they have the evidence lined up when they do eventually want to open a case or take their perpetrator to court? We do have the gender-based, uh, or, the, or rather the Domestic Violence Act in place that is protecting victims of uh, domestic violence. That is the first tool that we need to use as women out there. And at the police stations within the province, we have formed or registered uh, gender-based violence desks. We, we're trying by all means that whenever a victim of a domestic violence uh, approaches the SAPS, there must be someone who will be of assistance to that particular victim. What we want to encourage to people in, in, the, in the province is to break the silence. One should not keep quiet and, and stay in a, in a violent uh, relationship or an abusive relationship without reporting. Because if we have the reports, if, if we do have the reports, we do have ammunition to say at least there's basis of evidence that, are, that is registered within the, with the police that shows that this particular victim has been going through abuse for some time. It helps us to strengthen the case. So my plea to all women out there, break the silence. If it's your sister, don't keep quiet. If it's a friend of yours, do not keep quiet. Inform the police so that we can have something to act on. Thank you so much, Police Commissioner. Um, that was the Police Commissioner here. Um, 
from the Eastern Cape whose message is very strong um, to break the silence. A lot of females eventually come forward um, and want to take their perpetrators to jail, take them to court, but they do not have enough evidence. And what is she saying is to break the silence when it happens, um, report it immediately. Um, we are aware of doctors and nurses at certain hospitals and clinics um, who do rape kit tests on um, the victims, even if they aren't ready to go forward to the police or take them to court, they do keep that evidence. So um, her message um, to the nation is that we need to break the silence and you know take these people to court uh, as needed necessary.